the Edge Library Photo Plus Edition provides a wealth of backgrounds, edges, frames and brush textures designed to add impact and creative flair to your Photo Plus projects. These resources are very easy to use and in this tutorial I'll show you some fundamental concepts to help you get started. I'll start by adding a creative background to this photo. The first thing I need to do is copy my photo to the clipboard. So I'll click Edit, Copy. You can also use the Ctrl plus C shortcut. Now I'll click Open and I'll browse to my Edge library for Photo Plus DVD to find the background I want to use. And I'll choose an ageing layered background. OK, my chosen background opens in the workspace. Over on the Layers tab, you can see that each element of this background has been created on a different layer. And I can temporarily hide a few of these, so you can see how the image has been built up. I need to paste my photo onto another layer in this project. I'll select the topmost layer first, then I'll click Edit, Paste as New Layer. So my photo that was copied to the clipboard is now pasted onto a new layer at the top of the layer stack. I'll just rename my new layer by double clicking to open the layer properties dialog. This will just help me identify it more easily later. I can now use the deform tool to resize, rotate and move my photo into position. I could leave my photo sitting on top of all these background layers, but I want to give it a more distressed look, so I'm going to drag it down beneath some of the layers containing the stippling and streaks. OK, so we've looked at how you can add a photo to a background. Let's now look at edges. I'll start with a basic example. I'll apply an edge to this photo and then I'll show you how to apply an edge to the photo that I just placed onto the background. I'm going to start by opening an edge file. And I'll choose one of the distressed edges in the orientation and size that best fits my photo. Now I'll click Select, Select All or Control A. Then edit copy to copy the edge to the clipboard. OK, now back to my photo file. On the Layers tab you can see that this photo file comprises a single layer called Background. I now need to promote this background layer to a standard layer. To do this I just right click the layer and choose Promote to Layer. The reason for doing this is because I need to add a layer mask and this is only possible on a standard layer. To add the layer mask I just click the Add Layer Mask button and PhotoPlus adds the mask, that's this white rectangle here, to the layer. Now to get my edge file onto this mask, I select the mask, now I'll click Select, Select All, and now I click Edit, Paste into Selection to apply the edge to my photo. I'll now use the same concept to apply an edge to this photo. I click Edit Copy to copy the edge to the clipboard. I go back to my project file and locate the layer containing my photo. As before, I click to add a layer mask. Now I'll click Select, Select All. And finally, Edit Paste into Selection to apply the edge to my photo. And I can move and resize my edge effect by selecting the mask on the Layers tab and then using the Move tool to move it, or the Deform tool to move or resize. OK, we've looked at backgrounds and edges. Now I'll show you how to frame a photo. Click Open and browse to my Edge Library DVD again. And this time I'll open the Photographic Frames folder and from the portrait ready-mades, I'll choose an 8x10 format frame because this is the size that's closest to my photo. 
Now let's go back to the photo. And I need to change its size to match my chosen frame exactly. I can do this with the crop tool. When I select the crop tool, the context toolbar provides a range of crop area presets. I'll choose 8x10, which will match my frame exactly, and then just click and drag to set the crop area. There, that looks good. So I'll click this arrow here to apply the crop. Great, my photo is now the right size, so I'll click Edit Copy to copy it to the clipboard, and now I can return to my frame file. On the Layers tab here, you can see that this frame file is made up of three layers. And this middle one here is labelled Your Photo Here. To add my photo to the frame, I select the layer thumbnail, not the mask this time as I did previously when applying the edge. Now I'll click Select, Select All, and then I click Edit, Paste into Selection. And there's my framed photo, ready to print out in a standard 8x10 format. To conclude this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a custom brush based on one of the textures included on the Edge Library DVD. I'll begin by opening the texture on which to base my brush. And I press Ctrl plus A to select everything. Now I select the paintbrush tool and open the brush tip tab. The brush tip tab stores all of the brushes in categories. You can select a category from the drop down list here. The first thing I need to do is create a new category in which to store my brush. So I right click on the brush tip tab gallery and choose add category. Type a name for my brush category and click OK. And you can see now that my new category has been added to the drop down list and is now selected. Now I right click on the empty category gallery and click define brush. Name my brush. And there's my new brush saved in my custom brush category. And I can now paint with it just as I would with any of the Photo Plus brushes. I can change the brush colour on the colour tab, and I can change the brush size and opacity on the context toolbar. You'll find more on brush attributes and customising brush tips in the Photo Plus Help. In this short tutorial, I've covered the basic concepts of working with the Edge Library resources. I hope it's inspired you to get creative with your own photos. Start with a background, add your photo, apply a frame or edge, and then apply your custom brush strokes.